Lasapu. Lasapu Basics. Small and cuddly, the Lasapu makes a wonderful companion for singles, couples, seniors and families alike. Gentle in nature and extremely playful, this dog would make a great addition to any growing family, as they do well with both children and other dogs, should you have one. A mix of Poodle and Lhasa Apso, this designer breed is gaining in popularity. It is also a protective breed, most noticeably its favorite human, and may bark at strangers, they are small, but mighty. If you're not incredibly active, the Lhasa Poo will forgive you. A trip to the park here, some vigorous playtime, and running around in the yard should be plenty for their daily dose of exercise. Due to its moderate activity requirements and small size, the Lhasa Poo would do just fine in an apartment, so long as he goes outside every day. This breed is incredibly agile, when he hops from couch to couch with such ease, it looks like he's flying. Origin There's not much information about the origin of designer dog breeds. For the past 20 years, many purebred dogs were put together with other purebred dogs to create designer breeds, and the Lhasa was one of many. The most popular hybrids, such as the Labradoodle or the Bernie Doodle, have a well-documented history, but the majority of other designer dogs is a complete mystery. The Lhasa is one of those breeds. However, even though there's not enough information on the original breeders who created this hybrid, the knowledge we have about his parents speaks volumes about the breed. The Lhasa Apso breed is an incredibly old one, hailing from Tibet. Bred exclusively by nobility and monks, they were seen as sacred. The only way to get one was if you were given a pair of dogs from the Dalai Lama himself. In 1933, a pair was gifted to an American traveler and he eventually developed a kennel. The Poodle is also a relatively old breed whose roots are in Germany. These dogs started out as duck hunters in the 15th century, but had since evolved to become one of the most popular pets and companions in the world. Naturally, with parents such as these, Lhasa doesn't have to worry about a thing there's plenty of wonderful qualities he can inherit. Pedigree The Lhasa is a cross between a purebred poodle and Lhasa Apso. However, even though his parents are purebred dogs, the Lhasa itself is not one. And, since he is a mixed breed dog in the eyes of official canine organizations, such as the American Kennel Club, this hybrid is not eligible for official pedigree papers. All designer dog breeds share his fate, though their mixed breed origin prevents them from getting the recognition they deserve. Luckily, there are plenty of smaller clubs that are enthusiastic about crossbreeding and try to ensure that certain breeding standards are present in the world of designer dogs, too. Some of them give out their own certifications as proof of a puppy's good lineage but it's not often the case. Even so, if you get a puppy from a reputable breeder or a rescue and not from a puppy mill, you can rest assured that you'll have a wonderful pet. They'll either be vetted by the shelter's staff so you'll know what to expect in terms of health and socialization, or you'll have a guarantee from a breeder who selected his stock to offer the best of both worlds. Food, Diet It's important to make sure your dog gets all the nutrients they need and in a well-balanced ratio, as well. Kibble is the optimal way to do this, as it meets the needs of canines of all shapes and sizes. For the Lhasa you should pick out premium dry food suitable for their own unique lifestyle and needs. Not all Lhasa will be the same size or have the same amount of activity, so make sure to pay attention that your pet's food is not generic, but rather tailored for them. Choose kibble blends appropriate for their age, puppy, adult, senior, size and activity level, usually small breed kibble is a good choice. Because of its small size, the Lhasa won't need more than one cup of dry, good quality kibble each day, divided between, at least, two meals. This should give them plenty of energy to run a few laps around the park, plus keep their teeth nice and strong. If they try to con you into giving them extra with their sad puppy eyes don't cave in. They are particularly prone to obesity and even small weight gain could lower their quality of life. Excess weight on a small frame like theirs quickly leads to a host of health issues, from joint pain to diabetes. If your pet has any health issues, such as diabetes or kidney issues, make sure to contact a vet for advice before deciding on a diet for them. The same goes if you opt for alternative dog diets such as raw food or home cooking canine nutrition is very complex and only a professional can tell you if you're making the right choice for your pet. Happy to sit on your lap or play catch, the Lhasa just wants to be where you are. Training Early training methods are best to ensure the Lhasa learns as much as s slash he can as early on as possible. Although they can be a little harder to train as puppies than as adults, this will make for a more socialized, obedient dog overall. They are an intelligent breed, but they can also be a bit stubborn at times. This designer breed requires a trainer who is patient, calm and keeps a positive attitude. Remember to always reward good behavior with plenty of treats and you'll be on the right track in no time. Wait. 
The Lhasapu is a pretty small dog and can generally weigh anywhere between 10 to 20 pounds. Temperament, Behavior This designer breed can fall onto the typical small, yappy dog end of the spectrum, but it's only because they love you dearly and want you to know if a stranger is around. The Lhasa Apso was originally a guard in Tibet, so it's only natural for them to be your own personal watchdog. As aforementioned, these dogs absolutely love their humans. They love to play with adults, children and other dogs as well, but only if they have contact with other animals at a young age. Having said that, this means that they also dislike being alone, but will tolerate it if you must go to work. But if you're in the house, expect to have your Lhasa Poo constantly at your side or on your lap. If you're taking this pooch out for a walk, be wary of the temperature and weather. These dogs don't usually like going outside when it's too cold or wet so either stick to tiring them out with some laps around your home or make sure to bundle up with appropriate booties and a jacket. Common Health Problems Before you introduce a Lhasa Poo puppy into your home, remember to see a certificate of health from your reputable breeder. As a crossbred dog, these pups can experience health issues from either Poodle or Lhasa Apso breeds. The most common are eye problems, patellar luxation, SA, kidney problems, Addison's disease, Cushing's disease, epilepsy, hypothyroidism, leg parthus disease, von Willebrand's disease, hip dysplasia as well as allergies. Life expectancy. These dogs have the average lifespan of 10 to 15 years. Exercise requirements. The Lhasa Poo is a moderately active dog, so if the weather is too harsh for you and your pooch for a walk outside, skip the leash and collar and play some indoor fetch instead. But that certainly doesn't mean that they won't appreciate a long visit to your local dog park for some friendly dog chasing. This breed is also incredibly agile, so don't let it be a surprise when Fido hops from couch to couch with such ease, it looks like he's flying. Due to its activity requirements and small size, the Lhasa Poo would do just fine in an apartment. Coat this dog's coat all depends on how much they take from either parent. It could be curly and thick like that of a poodle's or can be straight and long like Lhasa Apso's. Because of the poodle cross, the Lhasa Poo is hypoallergenic. Colors include white, black, brown, tan and everything in between. No matter how much they take from either parents, they still need to be brushed daily in order to maintain a healthy mane. If you decide to give this dog a fresh summer cut, expect to have about half of your dog returned because so much fur was chopped off. Puppies. This dog does great with children, but requires supervision even when they are adults, as small children can pull at their fur and hurt them. While they're still puppies, they'll need even more caution as they are that much smaller and more fragile. 